One of the main features of Nuxt is its file system routing. What does it mean? Basically, in Vue 3, you are supposed to install Vue Router to deal with routing. Then you will have to create a root.js file, declare your roots, import your component or pages, and then organize all the nested routes, uh, the navigation guard, etc. etc. With Nuxt.js, yes, you don't need to do that because there's a system inside Nuxt that helps you to deal with the routing automatically. And it's working with the pages directory. So we see here on the official documentation that every view file inside the pages directory creates a corresponding URL. So let's get back to our app and let's try to create a route. So I'm going to create a new folder called pages. And inside these pages, I'm going to create, for instance, an event events.view page. So here it's supposed to be slash events as a corresponding URL. So I'm going to create a quick template. And in this template, I'm going to type div events page. All right, it's good. But remember in my app.view, I have this. And normally with view router, if you already coded with view, you're supposed to use um, uh, the router view built-in component that is provided by view router. How does it work with Nuxt? Well, if we go back to our app, we already got an error. And if we try to access the page events, we have actually the page of app.view. And this is a bit confusing because um, we're supposed to have events page and we finally have app.view. It's really easy to understand. We have to say to Nuxt to use the router. So first, we are going to use a first built-in component, which is Nuxt layout, because later we are going to use the layout of Nuxt. And inside this Nuxt layout, we are going to use the router view built-in component. But actually, it's not router view, it's Nuxt page. Nuxt page here is working exactly like router view component with view router. Now I've did that, I can get back. And on my slash events route, I got the events page here display. However, if I get back to the root of my app, I got a 404. And it's totally simple to understand. I don't get any index at the root of pages. However, app.view is supposed to be the root of our single page application. And it needs the first page to start. And this first page has to be index.view inside my pages uh, folder. So I'm going to type template div, and I'm going to say here index page simply. So I got an index.view, which is the first page, so the root URL of my application. Then I got slash events that is displayed there. So when I get back and I update, so maybe I got to start again my server for him to understand that I have an index page right now. And there we go, I got my index page display. And if I get to slash events, I got my events page. All right, so it's really cool. Let's try to create a new page and let's say that it's going to be my and uh, my and dash profile.view, okay? And here I'm going just to copy paste the code that I have there, I'm going to close all of this. And I'm going to type my profile, see that it's also working. How cool is that? Okay, let's remove this myprofile.view and let's create, uh, instead of events.view, a folder called uh, events. And now we've got a problem because we got this event.view and events folder there. So what we can do is to move this events.view here and I can rename this as index.view. So now what is it happening is that here when I go to events, it's taking my index.view. And let's say that I want to create a, um, a file inside my events folder, which relate to another route. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. And it's going to create the full URL for us. So let's say that we've got an event and here I'm going to have a profile.view, the profile of the event, let's say. So I'm going to have a template tag div profile event there, I'm going to save. And when I get back and I type slash profile, 
okay? Because I'm in the events folder. And there we go, we access to the profile event page. How cool is that? It's amazing because we can create a lot of routes like this. And of course, if I wanted to create a new folder called profile and inside I would like to had a new view and which will be indexed inside, it could work. So you see, you can create really nested routes and with this file routing system inside pages, Next will totally understand what you are trying to do and will build for you all the paths that you need. Let's say now that in event, I would like to have a, an ID actually that I would catch through my route. You can do that with brackets. So here I'm going to type ID between brackets dot view exactly like we would do in Vue.js. So I'm going to type template there and I'm going to type div and actually I'm going to have event ID and here of course I would open my double curly brackets and inside I would try to access to my root params.id exactly like I would do in Vue.js. Okay this dollar root is the object related to the current root. And here we're gonna catch the ID between the curly bracket, between the brackets, sorry, that we got in our uh, view file. When I go to the page, event ID 12, for instance, there we go, we catch 12 as an element uh, provided into the params, okay? It could be anything, it could be a very long number, it could be a uh, Guillaume, for instance, whatever. There we go, we can catch it this way. So when you want to make dynamic routes, you can use those brackets and put inside the parameter that you want to catch. And it's going to pass immediately through the route this parameter for you. Now, if you want to catch this parameter inside your script, so here I'm going to open a script. With Nux, we got auto import everywhere. So here we got available a method called use root. So I'm going to create a new variable. And here I'm going to use root the method uh, that helped me to uh, access to the root. So I'm going to console log this root and I'm going to get back, open my console. And what we see is that we got the root as a proxy object. What I can do is to type root dot params, exactly what I would do inside my template. And here, there we go. We see that it catch actually the ID of my root. So I get root dot params dot ID. And this method use root is available everywhere in the Linux application. And you will see when we get uh, uh, more deep into the course, everywhere in the Next application, you have a lot of methods like this that are auto imported everywhere you need them. You earn a lot of time by doing this. This is a good timing to show you another method that is very useful provided by Next. Exactly like Next.js, if you know Next.js, you have the context available. Next also got a context that is available. What you can use actually is the use nuxt app function. Here I'm going to remove this. I'm going to type const nuxt is equal to use nuxt app. Use nuxt app is actually a function that is available everywhere in the application to give us access to the current context. So here I'm going to console log nuxt. I'm going to get back. I'm going to update. And look at that. We've got an object which is big and contains a lot of method and data. And if we look a bit closer to it, we see that we got access to what we call a context. This is actually the context of your current application. So here you got a function called use head. We're going to see that later. We got view app that give us access to all our view application with the instance, etc., etc., And all of this, hook, etc., etc., will help us to deal with some operation everywhere in the application when we need to. And on the official documentation, we've got a good definition of what is use Nuxt app. Use Nuxt app is a built-in composable that provides a way to access shared runtime context of Nuxt, which is available on both client and server side. It helps you to access the view instance app, runtime hooks, runtime config variable, and internal state, such as SSR context and payload. We use Nuxt app will be very useful when you will create your own Nuxt application. You may need this context very, very often. Don't forget about it. Let's finish now to talk about the navigation. If I get back to my app.view here, let's say that I want to create a header. And here it's going to be a header with a list, okay, 
of elements. So here I'm going to have a list and inside this list, I would like to have a link that pushes to the home page. What I can use is next link. Okay. And next link actually, uh, it's a built-in component that helps you to push to the route that you want. So here I want to push to home. So I'm going to type slash and here it's going to be home. Okay. And then let's say that I want to push to events. Okay. So I'm going to type slash events. When I get back here up there, I got two buttons. So now it appears like a text. But when I click on home, I go on home. Then I click on events. I go on events. Okay. So use next link when you want to create a link that push to a route and when you want to create actually some uh, programmatic navigation. As you see, Nuxt is providing to us a very easy system to deal with the routes. We don't need to create a root folder. We don't need to import another package or another plugin to our application to deal with routing. Next itself is built around this file routing system. And later you will need to deal with the authentication and deal with what we call middleware. If you need to prevent the entry on a, on a page, depending on the authentication, for instance, what you will need to do is to watch the course about middleware because within, within this next context, actually, we can deal with middleware that prevent some actions depending on the uh, user interface and depending on the user entry URL.